What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Before we jump right into it, question of the day. That being said, question of the day is what is your favorite Hidden Fates card that is not the Charizard? Mine personally so far, probably the Umbreon, not just because of value, but I love the Evolutions. I also love the Sylveon because I think it just looks absolutely amazing. But let me know down below what your favorite Hidden Fates card is that is not the Charizard. Let me know on Instagram as well and I will send you some free TCG code card, just, you know, just for participating. But without further ado, more bangers, hidden fates. Let's get right into it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, but yeah, let's do it, guys. As I just mentioned, we are jumping back into hidden fates after last week's atrocious Champions Path opening. So, will we have better pulls this week? I sure as heck hope so. And I definitely hope we can pull something absolutely epic for you guys. Like I said, though, I always say this with Hidden Fates. I don't collect the gigantic cards. I don't. I'll, I'll keep maybe one of these, but after that, they're, they're not really that interesting to me. So what I will do, and I will try my best, once I get everything set up, to give away the gigantic cards. But in the meantime, this is a nice promo that we get in all the boxes. We'll leave the gigantic card in the box for now. And... We will do some Hidden Fates action right here. Take that code card, enjoy it, and hopefully we have some better luck this time around with Hidden Fates. All right, we have our Mew pack. Mew, 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 Mew. And I always say this as well. Um, I have trust, trust the issues, so if I don't see the box inside the actual, you know, shipment box, I feel like they're all just gonna be repacked or weighed or scaled or I get paranoid. But that's just because people really are atrocious when it comes to Pokemon. And they always want the best cards without, you know, investing in it. And a Snorlax holographic. So off to a rocky start, four packs. You know, don't worry though. I have something planned for you guys in a worst case scenario. We have the code card, we have our energy, our Kogus Trap, our Lieutenant Surgery Strategy, our Chansey, our Clefairy, Coughing, Voltorb, Cubone, Geodude, and a Holographic Brox Training. I will take Hollows every single day because unlike Champion's Path, they are not guaranteed. Two packs left. I am superstitious and I don't believe the Charizard will ever be in a Charizard pack. So let's just crack this bad boy open. Let's go guys. An ultra rare for the community, for the TCG Dylan family, we will pull a hyper rare in this video. I promise you that. That is a guarantee. And if we don't, well, that's not gonna happen because I'm not a liar. Jinx, Eevee, Ekans, Paris, Caterpie, Charmander. Oh, let's go! Shiny Malamar. I know that the shiny hollows aren't the most valuable, but anything shiny vault is amazing. Shiny Malamar, and a holographic EV. So we got a two pack, a double pull. That is amazing. I, wow, we're gonna put this in the VIP section right there. That is absolutely spectacular. I, I am ecstatic. I love anything Shiny Vault. So obviously, wasn't an ultra rare, but it was still something epic. I think it might be actually classified as an ultra rare. Who knows? We got a Shiny for you guys. That's what I'm talking about. That was a promise, and promise has been fulfilled. Whoops, I went a little fast there. Voltorb, Cubone, Geodude, Coughing. Woo, let's go, hyper rare. Oh my God. I know, again, the birds aren't the craziest hyper rare to pull, but I love hyper rares. I love ultra rare pulls. I love, wow, what an epic opening, guys. Okay, I'm gonna put this down very carefully. I always get a little warm whenever I open up Pokemon cards because it's just extremely, extremely exciting. So let's take a second to appreciate this beauty. I think I think it's pretty well centered. I, I don't know much about centering and stuff. Maybe off a little, little from the top to the bottom, but I have no idea. Let me know what you guys think down below. Looks like maybe there's, you know, some slight blemishes up at the top, which I find absolutely crazy how did that happen you guys see that right there right there dang that's too bad and then this one i'm really excited about because i do not have this one malamar shiny vault well 
nothing uh, too crazy, but still some epic pulls. I appreciate you guys watching, and I really do hope you subscribe to my channel as we continue to grow. Do not forget to answer the question of the day, which I said in the beginning of the video, but as a reminder, the question of the day is going to be, what is your favorite Hidden Fades card that is not the Charizard? Let me know down below. Hit me up on Instagram for your free TCG code cards. I give them free to anybody who answers the question of the day until I run out, obviously, but I have a lot. So enjoy, um, you know, stay tuned. And there is more Hidden Fades coming, coming in next week's video. I'm so excited talking about it that I can't even process it. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and have a great day.